Welcome to a Parallel Project Training APM Project Fundamentals Qualification Podcast based on the APM Body of Knowledge 7th edition. You should be using this in conjunction with our e-learning, podcasts and potentially a tutor-led course. For more information please visit www.parallelprojecttraining.com Okay, and welcome to another Parallel Project Training podcast. This is based on the Body of Knowledge 7th edition. Um, my name is Michelle Greaves. I'm joined today by Paul Nabra. So hello, Paul. Hello, Michelle. Thank you for joining. Um, and we're going to talk today about uh, a topic in the Project Fundamentals qualification on quality and quality management. So um, in this podcast, we're going to go through a couple of um, different learning outcomes, um, and they are defining the term quality, outlining the purpose of quality management, defining the term quality planning, defining the term quality control, and outlining the purpose of quality assurance. So lots of um, definitions really really here. So um, if we start with uh, quality, um, Paul, what does quality mean to you? What, do you th- what would you say it is? What does it mean to me or what does mm. it mean to the APM? <laughs> <laughs> good question. Very so good question. They say it is the fitness for purpose or degree of conformance of the outputs of a process or the process itself. And what is it to you? So fitness for purpose, what does that mean? That Mm. means that it has to do the purpose intended. Mm. So um, It's got to do the job that we want it to do. Yes, that's right. So a car is fit for purpose if it passes an MOT. Yeah, gets me from A to B. (laughs) It starts in the morning. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And if it didn't start in the morning and didn't pass the MOT and didn't get get you from A to B, then it wouldn't be fit for purpose. But not necessarily about having the the highest top quality product every time. So no, you might for purpose means it. Yeah, does you might want purpose. a Lamborghini, but you don't need a Lamborghini. Don't yeah. necessarily need it to get from me to. But it's got that other thing, or degree of conformance. So mm. that means that implies some specification. So it mm. it, it, it it may be uh, fit for purpose, or it may conform to a specification. Mm. It could be maybe fit for purpose and meet the specification, yes. but it's an or. <laughs> yeah. So it could be either. It could be either it does what it does the job that it's supposed to do, or it meets the specification. Mm. So uh, we have a choice there. Yeah. So, but basically, it does what we expect it to do. Of the outputs, so the outputs are the thing delivered. Yeah. So the things that are produced. So I always think of the we're back to the product breakdown structure now. Yep. So it's a way of making sure the products on the product breakdown structure are right, and uh, it's the process, the outputs, the process, or the process itself. So it can mm-hmm. be a quality delivery methodology. Mm-hmm. So we've done a good project, um, or we've done the right product. Yep. So there's two components there, the one about the delivery of the project and the other about the quality of the product. So yep. basically, does you know, does it do what it said it was going to do? Mm. And did you get there in a reasonably effective way? That's a quality project. So what's quality management? So they define that as quality management as a discipline for ensuring that the outputs, benefits and processes by which they are delivered meet the stakeholders' requirements and are fit for purpose. Mm. So it's a discipline, it's some rules that ensure that the outputs, so what we produce, what we deliver, and the benefits that are achieved, and the way we get there, the process, uh, meet the expectation of the stakeholders. Mm, and if we if we don't meet those expectations, then our stakeholders, our customers, are not going to be very happy. Yeah, it's not quality product. It's yeah. not a quality project. We might have to spend a lot of time and money to make fix it right. It. To yes. Fix it. Yes. Yes. That's right. That's right. So those are the definitions. So I expect why have I read them out? Because in the exam, they might go, which of the following is the definition of quality? Mm. <laughs> and it's the key words you want to put, decree of conformance or outputs, process. Yeah. Fitness for purpose, I think, is a, is a good one to hook onto as well. Yeah. Yeah. We could talk about that for a while, actually, mm. but um, we haven't got time. So we've, we've got um, some different kind of sections here on um, quality planning, quality control and quality assurance. So you, shall we take each of those in turn and just sort of outline what they are? Yeah, so, let's t- so those are the components that make up quality management. So mm. when you say you've got a quality management process or system, it's these parts that make it up. So quality planning, quality control, quality assurance. Which one do you want to start with? Um, let's start with quality planning, start well, quality at the beginning. Planning. So it's part of the project management plan. Mm-hmm. 
it defines how we're going to deliver quality mm -hmm. it's procedure process calls off the standards that we're going to follow mm. and the procedures that we're going to follow the roles and responsibilities for quality mm. who's going to approve them i often think it's the same as all the other quality management plans configuration management plan all the management plans are the same sort of structure you know um, it's the process that we're going to follow to um, make sure that we get a good quality product. Correct. Correct. So it's Correct. It's all the, the processes, procedures, who's going to be involved, what are we going to do, when are we going to do it. So yes. if someone wants to understand what we're doing to make sure we've got that degree of conformance, yep. they can look at that plan and, so what and checks, see. So what checks are we going to do, who's going to do them, yep. how are we going to number documents and all sorts of stuff. Mm. So, yeah, the, the planning is all about that, what we're going to do and how are we going to do it. Um, but you mentioned there how we might test or, or measure. So that leads us into quality control. Yeah. I always think of quality control. If you think about the outputs of a project on a product breakdown structure, when they're first delivered by someone, someone goes away and creates some software or a report or a drawing or a wall. Mm -hmm. How do we know it conforms with the standards? Mm. Well, we have to do some form of testing, measuring, inspecting, weighing, <laughs> visual inspection. And that's what quality control is. It's the, the testing and measuring everything. And so mm. the product goes from draft or unapproved to approved. Mm. And I think most people are, are, are comfortable with that process. Mm. You just call it quality control. Well, my boss read my report and approved it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's quality control process yeah you see this quite a lot in um in like food manufacturing so yeah. um the quality controls where we're going to um inspect the the look of a loaf of bread as it comes out of the oven yes um we're going to um perhaps do a taste test but yes. we're not going to necessarily do that on every single one so we'll yes. do some sampling yes and all of those controls will be outlined in our plan in our yes. quality management plan yes what we're going to do um, and then um, to make sure that we are doing it, someone might want to come along and check that. So that kind of leads us into the quality assurance side. So yeah, I often think quality assurance is like the umbrella mm. that covers both planning and uh, control. Yeah. And it's, about the, it's as much about the culture and behaviour and attitudes of the people in the organisation about quality as it is about the sort of detailed procedure. You know, so have we got the right people? Have they got the right equipment? Have they been trained properly? Yeah. How do we know they've been trained properly? How do we audit that? Um, yeah, quality assurance is more about the, the overarching process, whereas quality control is looking specifically at your product. Yes. And does it, does it meet what you need it to? Is it fit for purpose? Yeah. Quality assurance is often done company-wide. So often mm. the companies will have a, an ISO 9000 certificate, which covers mm. their quality assurance processes. Yeah. Um, whereas quality planning is often done per project. So, uh, and quality control is per product. Yes. So each product gets quality controlled. Yeah. Because uh, sometimes people get a bit confused about assurance. <laughs> you know, I often think of assurance, you know, training the staff is mm. an assurance role. <laughs> you know, it's not something a project would do. It's something a company would do. Yeah, and that brings us back to the um, assessment criteria because um, the APM do focus on the purpose of quality assurance. Um, so why is it important for us to do quality assurance? So quality assurance, if you've got people with the right skills, attitudes, uh, behaviours and beliefs and yeah. tools, then uh, it's more cost effective because they do things right the first time. Mm. Whereas if you've got people who are unexperienced, the wrong tools, the wrong processes, they make mistakes and things go wrong and you have to spend lots of work trying to mm. identify those failures, catch those failures, put them right. Yeah. Uh, also, so you're not going to catch every failure, so some mm. of them are going to go out to the customers, so you're going to have to have product recalls mm. to fix them. So so basically, the, there's something that's called the cost of quality. If you get your assurance right, yeah. the cost... It's more cost effective to get it right in the first. I remember the boss, he said to me, how come we've always got the time to do the job again when we mucked it up? Yeah. <laughs> but we never have the time to do it right in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's um, a really good point. That's quality assurance, yeah. Yeah, and it, it makes... That's all, the purpose. It makes our customers conf have got a lot of confidence that we yeah. are getting it right yeah. first time. Yeah, yeah. So getting it... So, you know, that... that cause spending on quality assurance will give you a more cost-effective solution in the end. Mm. Great. I think that's a great thing to end on as well. Good. Great. Happy. Thank you very much. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and found it informative. 
To find out about our training courses, e-learning or tutor-led course, please go to www.parallelprojecttraining.com.